Hey there, if you're new to my channel, my name is Hugh Kimura and I help traders develop reliable trading strategies and develop a peak performance trading mindset. So I got a question from somebody on YouTube about MetaTrader 5 pending order types. And when I looked around, there weren't very many good explanations on how each of the six order entry types work. So in this video, I'll show you how each of them work. Okay, so we have a MetaTrader 5 chart open here. We're going to go to trading, new order. And this is where you can see the execution type. Now you can either do an exec instant execution, which is a market order, which executes your trade right now, or you can do a pending order. And this is what we're gonna focus on. So when you look at the pending order type dropdown, there are six different types, buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop, buy stop limit, and sell stop limit. Okay, so I think it's more useful to actually look at a chart to see how these order entry types work. The first type of order entry we're gonna look at is the limit entry. So a buy limit or a sell limit. On this chart, I've drawn two lines. Now they're just arbitrary lines, but they're gonna illustrate these different order types. So let's start with the limit order. So when you place a sell limit, you're gonna tell the broker, hey broker, limit my entry price to this price or better. If you're gonna sell, you want to sell either here or somewhere up here, right? Because you're expecting price to fall. So if price went above this, then this would actually be a better entry for your short trade. So when price comes up and hits this line, the sell limit, order is executed, it's gonna execute a trade only if price is at this price or above. Now let's take a look at the opposite, the buy limit order. So when price comes down into the level like it did here, you can place a buy limit pending order, and that will buy at this price or better, which means that the price is less than this line. If you think about it, if you're buying a brand new car and the price starts to go down, 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 uh, you would want to get that car at this price or lower, and that's what would determine if you buy that car or not, right? Because that's in your budget, you think that's what the car is worth. And it's the same thing with the value of any chart. So in this example, we would buy here as price hit the limit order, and it popped back up, and there could be a potential profit right there. All right, now let's take a look at the stop orders. These are a little bit different. So when you put a stop order in, you're expecting price to go through that level. So in this case, this line up here would be a buy stop, and this would be a sell stop. So when price hits this level, this now becomes a market order. You're not limiting the price, it just becomes a market order and you get filled wherever you get filled in this, in this area. And this is really good for breakout trades. If you wanna wait until price breaks out and shows you that it has momentum in that direction, then that's when you would use a stop pending order. Now we come to the last set of pending order types and that's the stop limit. And this one can be a little confusing. So in our example, these two lines are going to be the buy stop limit order price up here and the sell down here. So let's take a look at the sell case first. So in this case, you're expecting price to drop further. However, you don't wanna set a full on sell pending order because you're not sure how volatile price will be at this level. So maybe you set that uh, sell entry order and price could jump up before you get executed. So if you're worried about that, then you enter a stop limit order. So what happens in this case is price comes down and it hits the level and then the stop is triggered. So when the stop gets triggered, instead of turning the order into a market order like it does with a sell stop, it's gonna turn it into a limit order. So once the sell stop is triggered, you're gonna tell the broker, hey broker, don't enter my order unless the price is at this price or better. Therefore, it's possible to have the sell stop triggered, but then price could jump over this price and keep going, you could gap down, and then you would never get executed because the limit order would keep you out of the market. So that's the only real issue with this type of order entry. It's a little more complicated, and there are a few instances where it could not get you into the market. Should you use this type of order entry? Well, in my opinion, the Forex market is pretty liquid and you don't get a whole lot of gaps, at least not during the day. You might get some gaps over the weekend and stuff like that, but during a normal trading day, you won't get a whole lot of gaps. So I don't see the big benefit of using this type of order entry in the Forex market. However, if you're in another market, like the stock market, where uh, shares can be thin, or you're trading exotic currency pairs where there aren't a lot of traders, then this type of order entry could be useful. Okay, real quick, let's just go over the buy case. In this case, with a buy stop limit pending order, you're looking for a price to come up to this level and you, are, you think that the price is gonna break out of this level. So you're gonna set a buy stop limit order here. So once price hits this level, um, the stop is triggered and the order becomes live, it turns into a limit order. You're gonna tell the broker, hey broker, don't execute my trade unless it's at this price or better. And again, if price gaps up 
over this price, then you won't get executed at all. That's how the buy stop limit pending order works. If this video has helped you, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And if you want to get more Forex trading tutorials, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.